Covenant believe that what they call the Silent Cartographer is somewhere under this island. The Cartographer is a map room that will lead us to Halo's control center. The island has multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. We're close to the LZ. It's gonna be hot. Get set to cut out quickly. Touchdown, heading Marines! Ooh, Folks, how are we all doing today? Ah, this is another video with The Domain. I just wanted to show you guys this diorama today because if you remember, I built this on a live stream a couple of months ago and I've been so attached to it that it's the only one I've kept in mint condition. I've had it resting on my display shelf for quite a while now. And today I actually plan to just show you guys quickly. I got it on the table. And then I sat there and I was like, oh, there's, uh, there's a few things I could improve here. So I, I just went at it for another hour. So <laughs> this is the finished Silent Cartographer Diorama. Silent Cartographer is the fourth mission in Halo Combat Evolved and really it switches up the whole pace and sandbox of the game. It holds a very true place in people's hearts and memories when they think about the game. I remember the first time I played it I was blown away by that open beachfront and I thought it was the perfect opportunity when I saw two listings on Amazon of these beach base plates. I thought why not get straight to it and make a Silent Cartographer diorama. So I did it in one iteration months ago, and this is the revised and way more detailed version. You know, I can put a lot more detail into it when I'm not on a live stream trying to like keep everything going. So here we go. This is my favorite mission from Combat Evolved, and you always do have to think, when the Master Chief pushes through the beach and defeats the Covenant there, what happens next? Like, a lot of the time during the campaign, the Master Chief will push through a place and then the Marines have to then hold it. The best example is during the novel Halo The Flood, when the Master Chief has to go and rescue Captain Keys, the Marines have to lock down Truth and Reconciliation for a long time. After the Master Chief has pushed through the beach front, the Marines then need to hold it. They set up a little shop here with some flags, you know, indicating where they are for reinforcements. But it isn't long until the Covenant arrive and start to kick ass. So I like to, when I'm building my dioramas, have like maybe two or three stages to the diorama. So the dead bodies of the Covenant represent the first assault. And then the second wave is coming in now. I assume they've been deployed from drop ships, dropped straight into the water and then swam to shore shore or waded to shore and then started their invasion. This is actually my favorite part of the diorama. I know this elite warlord is Halo Infinite, kind of Halo Reach S, but I think he works perfectly here. He is kicking this marine straight in the back while sorting her helmet. She's trying to kind of reach for her helmet. She doesn't really know what's going on just yet, but uh, sorry bud, you're never gonna get to that helmet. So the elite warlord is leading the charge. There's a few elite miners scattered across the beachfront and a load of random Billy the Grunt a couple of jackals and one of the main things that I've sort of pioneered in this diorama is battle damage or sort of bullet shell explosions. I've got many coming off say the jackal shield, this elite shoulder, this elite's arm and then even this Billy the Grunt's head and each one of these has a focused fire range. This is coming from this assault rifle, this assault rifle, this assault rifle and this magnum over there. You know they're all coming from a particular place. I've also made sure to give them some really nice weapons, all painted. I know some of them are technically not the colors you would find in Combat Evolved, but I couldn't help myself. I love this Lawgiver shotgun slung over this Colonel's back and all the different needlers are really nice. Uh, I'm just like super, super happy with how this turned out in the end. 
I used a lot of the mega constructs inventions fauna and floral. We've also got crabs and shellfish, starfish, and then loads of different corals. I don't even know what these are, you tell me, but they're there. I've also got the flower blooming on the top of one of these. I've liked to like really densely pack in the foliage around these trees. I mean, this is some really thick jungle. So all of the flowers and foliage will be uh, causing a bit of nuisance actually trying to break through all this. All of the marines, I decided to pop and swap most of them. I didn't just want the copy and paste chips dubo everywhere. So I gave a lot of them halo infinite heads and sometimes arms and hands. I especially love this colonel and this guy over here with the nice backpack. I gave a couple of them really dope little backpacks, but one of the Marines is not so dope. We've got a defector over here. He's crying in the forest. He's even dropped his rocket launcher. Like he's really letting the team down. I love the dual wield magnums of this Marine. And I also like to give different muzzle flares to different weapons. So all the assault rifles have a single blank fire, but the magnum has a more aggressive firing of this sort of like two piece muzzle flare. A couple of the original invasion force got tangled in this barbed wire trying to get through there, not having a good time. I imagine they're probably still alive. And then I love these vines over here, this bamboo forest. These trees here are absolutely fantastic. Again, mega constructs, inventions. They do a quality line of different foliage and fauna. Like it's exactly what you want to build a detailed and more realistic diorama. I've also even added just nice little rocks just decorated around the beach. I'm just super pleased with how this worked out, to be honest, guys. Please do let me know what you think of the silent cartographer mod. Please rate it out of 10 in the comments down below. And if you want in the future, when I'm in America, I could extend this and I would love to extend this right into a forerunner base. We'll see if I ever get that many pieces, to be honest. But this was another diorama with the domain. Thank you so much for all the support. We have topped like a few hundred subscribers growth in the last week so it's all looking good for the domain <laughs> you stay awesome you stay safe out there folks and the silent cartographer is signing off zoom in zoom in